Oh 
worship team you are the best thank you and welcome to new life fellowship for the english service good afternoon to you my brothers and sisters i hope that the previous week was a good week for you and this new week is going to be awesome week for you as well because god is good he loves you so much i would like to tell you a story there's a story in the bible that this man have a son and this son manifests by evil spirit and every time that this evil spirit manifests it hurt the boy badly and this one time the father have heard that Jesus disciple can heal the people so he brought his son to the disciple and disciple cannot heal him either so the, the disciple have to take this boy to meet with Jesus and Jesus heal the boy so disciple was wondering what's going on why they cannot heal this boy you know in Matthew chapter 17 verse 19 to 20 the disciple brought Jesus out and asked him. The, the disciple came to Jesus privately and said, Why could we not cast it out? Why could we not cast these demons out? So Jesus said to them, Because of your unbelief. Because you don't have faith in God. He tell his disciple, because of your unbelief. Maybe you believe a little bit and later on you stop believing. This is it because your unbelief. For as surely I say to you, if you have faith as a mustard seed, Jesus said, you will say to this mountain, Jesus referred to the boy that manifests by demons, it's a mountain. It's a mountain that causes big problem to the boy and cause problem to the whole family as well. That is a burden. The mountain represents a burden, represents difficulties in life. It's so difficult for them. So he said, if you have faith as a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, you will say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move, and nothing will be impossible for you, and nothing will be impossible for those who have faith 
and believing in Jesus. My brothers and sisters, how is your financial? How is your life right now? How is your marriage relationship right now? How is your businesses right now? How's your school right now? How are you doing right now? Is there a mountains in your life? I believe there must be some degrees of mountain in our life. This afternoon, as we are preparing to give to the kingdom of God and planting the seed, the seed of faith, when we give to the house of God, it meaning we allow the faith that believing God for the provision for our family to be there. We believe that the Lord our God will meet our need, all of our need in our family's life. Maybe this mountain that you uh, struggle for a long time before need to be moved in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Let's pray that the Lord God will command all mountains to move from you so that your faith will rise to the next level. But the mountain especially of financial that you struggle need to move in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. My heavenly Father, Lord God, I lift my brothers and sisters Lord God, who are facing difficulties, Lord God, with finance. Lord God, meet all of their needs, Lord God. Supply all of that needs, Lord God, if they need the money to pay for the bill, electricity, waters, and and school for the kids, Lord God, and business obstacles and stuff like that, Lord God. Meet that need, Lord God. For my God shall supply all of your need. This is Paul said. Lord God, we bless you and we believe in you and we receive this in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You may give and God bless you. My brothers and sisters, how are you? I hope last week was a good week for you. If it's not that good, I believe that next week is going to be better. I believe that. Let's believe God together. And thank you so much for tuning in to New Life Fellowship Facebook. Again, this afternoon, I have a privilege to bring the Word of God to share with us again. This afternoon, the topic of my lesson is to define your faith and let it grow. Define that faith and let it grow. Faith is the main thing in life. And faith comes from God. Faith is everything, right? It's everything for you and for me. Especially, it's for the kingdom of God to be established in earth. We would like to have God to establish His kingdom in your family, in your life, in the area that you are living in, in the marriages, and in everything to reveal His power to heal the sick people, to raise the dead, to supply all of your need as well. So faith is coming from God. And we have the Word of God that we can study together to grow our faith. Let's look in the book of Hebrew, chapter 11, verse 1. So now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. This is faith according to the scriptures in the book of Hebrew. So what does it mean? Faith is, is the substance 
What does substance mean? I check in the original, in the root word, they tell us uh, the, the, the substance coming from two words. Substance in the, 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 the root word in Greek means uh, hubas, mean under. And another word is uh, hitami, histami, under. Histami means make to stand. So, so faith, in my opinion, is a strong foundation. What is a strong foundation that could not be shaken? Only God and His Word and the Word of God that is strong foundation and cannot be shaken. It's there for us to stand on. It's there for us to lean upon. Cannot be moved and cannot be shaken. This is faith. It's something that is really, really, really strong that you can stand on anytime. And you will not frustrate it upon this strong foundation. In the book of Psalm, chapter 119, verse 105, David said, your word is like a lamp. Your word, whose word? It's God's word. It's the promise of God. God's word coming from God. It's like a lamp to my feet and a light on my path. That is the lamp to reveal the road map to show us in life to show you in life. When you have the Word of God, the Word of God, you place the Word of God in your heart, that Word of God will be like a lamp to show you the way, to show you the road map to live your life. In another scripture, Psalm, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Mark chapter 11, 22 to 24, Jesus said, have faith in God. This is Jesus' word. He said, have faith in God, Jesus answered. Truly I tell you, if anyone say to this mountain, if anyone, anyone meaning like anyone, everyone that believe in Him, trusting in Him, standing on that foundation, that strong foundation that cannot be shaken, say to this mountain, go and throw yourself into the sea and does not doubt in their heart, and does not doubt in their heart, but believes that what they say will happen, it will be done to them. You see, if you have no doubt and believe it happen, it will be done for them. Therefore, Jesus said, therefore I tell you, whatever, this is important, therefore I tell you, you listen. This is Jesus' words, therefore he tell us, he tells me, he tells you, whatever you ask in prayer, you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. Ask, believe it, you will receive it as well. So faith, my brothers and sisters, is so important for Christ's follower, for all of us, for you. And for me, we need to learn how to grow with faith. We don't want to believe and the level of our faith is right there. We want to increase this faith to go up from one level to the next level. So how do we grow this faith? Faith grow well when you get connected with God 
and the Word of God. When you connect it with God and the Word of God, that faith will grow well. And also, faith will grow well when you are hang out, when you have fellowship surrounding yourself with strong believers. People that really, really, really strong believers in the Lord God. I guarantee you that your faith will grow to the next level as well. In the book of Romans, chapter 10, verse 17. So faith comes from hearing and hearing through the word of Christ. Faith comes from hearing and hearing through the word that come from the Lord Jesus Christ. So meaning when Jesus said, he tell us to do something and you and I need to do it. We do it, act upon it right away. And you see it happen. So faith comes from the Word of God. You're listening to the Word of God and the Word of our Lord Jesus Christ. So from today on, don't just listen to the Word and let it go from one ear to another ear. Listen to the Word of God and let it sink into your heart and believe it. You see that faith is growing to the next level. And another Another one from the book of Romans as well, chapter 4, verse 19 to 20. Talking about Abraham, this one. Abraham was old at that time. And he was waiting for the Lord God to bless him with a child. So in verse 19, without weakening in his faith. Without weakening, you see? So it meaning like, Abraham's faith keep getting stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger. My brothers and sisters, don't allow this faith to leak and make it weaker and weaker and weaker. No. Abraham, it does not do that. Without weakening in his faith, he faced the fact, <laughs> faced the fact that it that his body was as good as dead. He's facing the fact that he's old. He is going to die. Since he was about a hundred years old. And Sarah's womb was also dead. Look at it. When you look at it, it's impossible. Yet, he did not waver. Through unbelief regarding the promise of God, but was strengthened in his faith and gave glory to God. You know the story already. He was waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for a long time. He didn't get to see what he believing for. It's the you know, um given to him yet but Abraham did not give up his faith but his faith is getting stronger and stronger and stronger my brothers and sisters let's build our faith and getting get that faith to the next level make it stronger and stronger and the other thing when we get faith when we receive faith we need to release that faith as well. Way to relieve that faith is to obey. Is to obey God starting now. When you hear God, obey Him right now. From today on, when you hear God's word tell you to do something, obey it. Act upon it right away. In the book of James, chapter 2 verse 18 but someone will say you have faith and I have works show me your faith without works and I will show you my faith by my work when you have faith 
you also have work. When you have faith, when you want to apply faith, you have to act upon that. You take one first step of faith and moving forward, even though you don't see that promise that God said to you, you don't see it yet, but keep believing it until you see it with your own eyes, until you touch it with your own hands. Keep believing it until you receive it. Amen. Our faith need to have action. This one time, you know, I mean, this man by the name of David Junki Chu. David Junki Chu, known as a pastor that has the biggest church on planet Earth. He's from South Korea. He built a really large church. His church is so big. But you know what? Before he have that big church, before he have that big building, before he have that many people, he have faith for small thing. He have faith for the death, for the desk that made of Philippine Filipino mahogany. A chair, he believed God for a desk that made of the Filipinos mahogany. And a chair, uh, you know, with an iron frame. And another one is a bicycle <laughs> coming from the United States. That's it. That's his faith. And he believed in God for that. You know what? And later on when he, he prays and asked the Lord for it, and later on he learned to pray and asked the Lord God for specific need. It took him six months to believe it and he start received bit by bit according to what he was asking God for and he didn't just ask he prepared a place to put the table he prepared a place to put you know the bicycle eventually that place was, was prepared he put it there for the table and a chair for the desk and a chair and his bicycle. Our faith need to have action. If faith no have no action, there's no faith at all. Is that right? Yes, I believe that. Another scripture in the book of Luke, chapter 5, verse 5 to 6. This one day, Simon Peter, this man, it's a great man come to fishing. He knows everything about fishing. He has the skill. And he live off that skill. This guy is a professional. But this one day, the whole night, he tried to catch a fish, he catch nothing. But he, he met Jesus in Luke chapter 5, verse 5 and 6. And... Jesus tell him to do something, to throw the net to the other side of the boat. And Simon answered, Master, we have worked hard. So Master, you don't know that at all. We've been working so hard all night and haven't caught anything. We work hard all night. Now you want us to work some more? Don't you know that we, we are professional and we caught nothing? We know. He said that because nothing but I like this word. You try this, you try this, you try this, you try that, you try, 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 but it doesn't work at all. But I like the word but. But because you say so, Jesus, but because you say so, I will let down the nets. Jesus, because you say so, I try, 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 it doesn't work, but because you say so, I'm going to take the first step of faith. You see that? Because you say so, I will let down the net. When they had done so, you see, when they had done so, they caught such a large number of fish that their nets 
began to break. There's the power in the obedience of the Word of God. When you obey what God said, you see the miracles could happen. The miracle that you are waiting for is at that corner. It's happened quickly. Keep having that faith. And another one, <clears throat> in the book of Matthew, chapter 9, verse 28 to 30. This time, it's uh, this one man, he needs miracles. This group of people need miracles from Jesus as well. I'm going to read the story. They went right into the house where he was staying, and Jesus asked him, asked him, Do you believe? I can make you see a blind person, a blind person. He cannot see and he take his effort. Can you imagine you think a little bit about a blind person? Blind person cannot see, but a blind person listen. And blind person hear that Jesus is at that house. So a blind person go there. And trying to uh, um, trying to meet with Jesus, and he was listening to Jesus, and Jesus said, "Do you believe I can make you see?" And the person, the blind person, said, "Yes, Lord." They told me, <laughs> "Yes, Lord." They told me. They told him. People told him, "We'll do." Then he touched their eyes and said because of your faith because of your faith because the faith of that blind person because the faith of other people telling him it will happen then their eyes were open the blind person start to see again open and they could see Jesus Sternly warn them, don't tell anyone about this. You see, miracles after miracles after miracles when person take a step of faith, release their faith. My brothers and sisters, like what I say, faith is important for every one of us, you know. But a small thing, a big thing, it's very big thing. All we need to do is faith. To believe in the ability of God. That God can meet our need. You know, He can do it. He can heal the blind people. He can gather the fish in one place so that the fishermen can fish and sell the fish and make money to supply to support their family jesus can help you with anything and everything in your life all you need is faith and build that faith let that faith growing each day and release that faith act upon it you will see happen to you do you believe in the word of god if you don't believe before it's okay but from today on start to believe that you will see happen you will see your family they get set free from the bondage of the evil one could you join prayer with me and believe with me whatever you need that the lord god will meet that need as well my Heavenly Father, Lord God, in this world pandemic, it's so difficult for every one of us to handle, Lord God. But you are God. We call you God. We only have faith through you, God. 
Help us to grow in our faith. Help us to have faith to release, release that faith, Lord God. Help us to receive it, Lord God. And Lord God, meet the need of my brothers and sisters. Lord God, heal all the diseases, Lord God, that people are facing for many years ago, Lord God. And I believe that you are not the deaf God. You are the God that is alive and you can hear a prayer, Lord God, and you answer from heaven, Lord God. And Lord God, bless your people, your servant, and protect your people in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Lord God, and fix all the brokenhearted as well in that precious name of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, amen. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Grow your faith. Release your faith. Amen? Hallelujah. Oh, dear.